Hi everyone, it's Linda. I have half, about half of um, AliExpress order to show you. Like maybe half my stuff has come in. And I'd like to put it away. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff I got. Now of course, I'm, I usually order this stuff when I'm at work. You know, you have a few minutes, you play on the computer, you order it. But for some reason, my AliExpress app on my iPad mini that I'm recording with, um, it doesn't show me orders, past orders. It only shows what's still outstanding. It's really weird. So it took me, anyway, so I can't find any of these actual orders. It was hard that have come in. But I'm pretty sure this is ribbon. Well, it is ribbon. I'm pretty sure this is 25 yards. And can you see that? It says handmade. And it's just like a regular polyester ribbon. It's one centimeter or 10 millimeters thick wide um, and there should be 25 yards of this so I figured this would be good for if I have any anything I'm mailing out and I want to wrap it especially if it is handmade just as handmade that's all so I thought I couldn't resist probably a couple bucks I like I said I don't know um, these I'm guessing there's a hundred maybe 50 to a hundred these are pins they look like safety pins excuse me in case I need that. They're just over an inch tall. And, uh, yeah. It's just, and they're plastic. They're not really, like, and so I'm not going to hurt myself. Uh, they're a bit bigger than I thought they'd be, and they're more plasticky than I thought they'd be. But, you know, it's AliExpress. It's, like, maybe one or two dollars. And so I got a bundle of that. Now, here's some dies I got. I guess it's like a Viewmaster die. Not quite like what Tina App just showed in her one of her later latest videos. Because I didn't have anything in the center. Um, any extra dies. But it, it is like a doily, but it has the cutouts. So, I just did a sample. Let's see if I can get it out of the bag. Um, I put everything in its own little bag. Because, you know, those self-sealing bags are insane to try and read package but these dies will be going on my die and on the die walls in my cabinets anyway so yeah so it's cute so you know like I think Tina had some like flowers or people behind it and I thought well yeah who says I have to try and individualize each one anyway and it is almost like a doily so it's just a cute little die for you know one or two dollars I thought why not so that was that and I got this, I didn't even remember ordering it. So when it came, I thought it was a mistake or I thought it was supposed to be something else, but it wasn't. Anyway, it's a card, an outline of a card. And then you have this, which you put along the side. You could even, I did it along the long side, but you could even do it along the short side. And you can weave ribbon through it. And then it also came with a little bow. A little bow die there. Sorry, sorry, it's hard to see. Let me just take these darn things out. So that's the ribbon weaver. Okay, comes with that. Um, comes with these four hearts. They're they're not connected. They're it's just the die is connected. So unless you, you basically always get four hearts unless you put your paper stopping it and you only want one or two. Um, a bow. And this is the outline for the card. Okay, I didn't really measure it, but it is, oh, yeah, it's four by six. Oh, sorry, four by five and a half. Four by five and a half. So this is what I got. So I just used the thin um, white, plain white ribbon I had. I just grabbed a spool of it, it's the first one I saw. And I weaved it through and then I tucked it around and glued it on the back. They, in their picture, it took me a hard time, a long time to find it on, on the AliExpress website, because like I said, it won't show past orders. Um, they used the same color ribbon uh, and tied it with that. Not, they didn't even have this punch out anywhere on their sample, but yet it comes with this stamp, with this die. So I don't understand that. But see, I, I decided to try with the glittery paper, the, the $1.25 pack of 15 that everyone's been getting at Dollarama. 
So uh, the center hearts I put over here and these I put there. And the only thing that's very bizarre is in, in the um, posting for this, it shows this like brown die. It shows this as going the entire length of the card because this card has that stitching around right from this die and this seems to reach all the way to the ends and it doesn't like you can even see in a picture where it shows all of these four dies put together there's no way it would reach so I don't understand what's going on there so whatever it doesn't really matter but anyway so that's that so that's the back where I just glued it at the ends there to hold it down Oh, I'm so sorry. I know, coffee never ends. Okay, I ordered this denim pocket die. I just thought it was so cute. You get that, and you get, you get two circles, but you have to do this twice, okay? You have to punch, you have to get, you need three, or however many you want, really. And you get this tag, and you get this zipper. And this is what I did. So, huh, I didn't realize it was such a bad glare. I apologize. So I put the three rivets at the bottom, super. And then there's the tag. Isn't it cute? It's just so adorable, I had to get it. Anyway, yeah, so of course you can, you don't have to put the dots there. And some people, in some of the pictures, the die is really further low. I'm not much of a jeans wearer, even when I was young and slimmer. Just didn't really care for jeans. I find them uncomfortable. All right, so I also bought these dies. <clears throat> that there's four bigger ones, and then four smaller ones. Let's see if I can let me just get these sort of set up here. Okay, can you kind of see that, right? So there's two sets, right? Bigger and smaller. And then there's this guy, okay, right? And this guy, okay, and bigger and smaller. And then this is what I came up with. So I didn't ink anything, but there's one. One label. There's another. There's third, which I find strange with that sticking out. But and there's a fourth. So you know, like you can do the same colors, maybe slightly darker on the bottom or the top. Um, ink them up, um, thicken them. Do maybe a bunch of like cut out a bunch of scraps with the big size and layer them so it raises up a bit. Or like I did here with a pre with a previous I know I probably have dupes um, with the previous uh, set of label dies I have I cut out um, with foam core like a piece of the foam board and um, and I distressed it as best I could reach in there and and it raises my the cover of my little notebook oh sorry <laughs> those are uh, um, all my notes I've been making over the last couple of years of different junk journaling things. And I have to figure out how I'm going to store it. I have to make a book for it. Huh. Ironic, I know. Anyway, so, yeah, so that's what these are. And the problem was, I I looked, I thought I clicked on the correct um, order and said, confirm my, that I received the items. Well, I clicked on the wrong one. It turned out I had ordered other dies as well where I should only have six and I'm like oh I got eight I don't what 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 I didn't think to keep scrolling through my orders anyway so I tried to tell them that um I didn't I did not receive it yet I think I the one I confirmed with I just sent them a note saying I haven't received it yet I just made a mistake I'm still waiting or something um not no nothing no ill will just I made a mistake um Anyway, 
So I have, and like I said, AliExpress app doesn't show you what you've, what orders you've deleted. Because even though you say delete an order, after I've confirmed it, um, it's the, it's still in a, another section forever, which is fine. But I can't look at the that section on the app, which is very weird. So when I'm at work on Monday, I'll confirm it. But I think I have four or five orders still to come. And one of them is a set of more labels like this. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I ordered from AliExpress. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be doing any, uh, making anything this weekend only because I can't think of a project to do. I know. But one thing I, I do want to do is, um, uh, my fabric area has gotten very messy and I have a ton of ribbon from what I've been able to find. And I went to, I have two Dollar Trees now and I went to my old Dollar Tree. No ribbon. Like, they just seem to sell out really fast if they ever get any. And they do have, they have had some a little bit. But anyway, there was nothing there. And I haven't gone to the new one because it's a bit further away. If I leave the house this weekend, I'll, I'll zip up there for sure. I'll go to the new one and check. But I was there last weekend and they still didn't have ribbon. Perfect new, brand new store, lovely. But that's, it's only downfall right now is it just doesn't have any ribbon. And the craft section to me could be bigger compared to like how much craft stuff is out there I think it's just how they have their seasonal stuff it isn't I don't like how they have it set up for that when you walk in it just doesn't seem as big as it could be but whatever it's new it, it'll evolve but yeah I can't find ribbon I have a ton of it already so I'm just I'm thinking of a way how I might store it once I get the fabric set up so anyway, I'm rambling now, so I better go and let you people get back to your lives and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.